What's going on everybody? We got some new saltwater equipment to set up. Let's do it. If you like fish videos, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. All right, everyone, here we go with the first item. Shout out to eShops for sending this out and sponsoring the video. There we go. It is their refugium light. It is the Curve refugium light. It's got Cree LEDs. It's 650K and size, watts, all that good stuff. Packaged nicely, nice and compact. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Here's the light itself. Instructions and warranty, just a filler. And I'm gonna assume this is our power supply. Yep, sure is. All right, so these items go there out of the way. Let's take a quick peek at what this thing says. Okay, we got our warranty card. All right, this just talks about the warranty and whatnot and the warranty is void if, and then it gives you some things there. Quick instruction manual, kind of tells you what it is, how to install it, all that good stuff. Looks nice and easy. We're gonna pull this out of the package. So it's got three Cree LEDs. Cree is a higher end LED manufacturer. And you can see right here, it's got the screw that you use to mount it onto your sump. So I'm gonna just use this and loosen that up. So we can do that, okay. So that just slides onto the sump. All right, and then here is where the light gets plugged in. What we're doing next is we're going to attach this to this part of the sump. I did speak with eShops and they said that it is going to be okay. So this guy is going to sit right about here. Make sure your hands are clean, of course. Just tighten that screw. Yeah, see, that's not going to come up. Give it one last little tug for good luck. Okay, so now that we got the refugium light mounted, we're going to route the wire to the controller. All right, so now that we got it routed up over there, I need to grab it so that we can route it. All right, here we go. We got it pulled out from behind. Now I know that this is for the refugium. Get that guy plugged in right there. Now that goes back into place. All right, so we can see that this says Fuge LED. So this outlet is for the refugium. So we need to program that now on the Apex dashboard. But before we do that, we need to come down over here, plug adapter in place. There we go. All right, everybody. So here we are at my Apex Fusion dashboard. What we're going to do is we're going to show you what this does for the Fuge light. Now, here is the Refugium LED. So we're going to go over to the edit button. So it turns on at 9 p.m. and it turns off at 8 a.m. Well, it's 3.45 p.m., so let's change that up a bit. So we're going to go over here. So that's noon. One, two, three. Let's just say it's going to turn on at 15 because that's 3 o'clock. And we're going to click Update. And the Refugium light turned on. How awesome is that? Now, let's just go and put it back to where it was, back to the 2100, which is 9 p.m. Click the Save button and now it's off so this is what the apex does with the refugium light how i have it set up so it automatically turns on for me so that is awesome all right so here's the next item that eShop sent as part of this sponsor it is the tanklimate small we're going to open it up and take a look at it all right let's see here get it out of the box there we go comes with their warranty card like always so here you go, the instruction manual for the Tanklimate. So they do have a small, it looks like they have a medium or a large as well. Just kind of goes through it all if you'd like to read it. Yeah, it looks like there's Tanklimate medium, Tanklimate small, 
all kinds of different little things for this setup. So we're gonna pull it out of the box. I mean, very straightforward. I mean, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and pull that out. This obviously is the magnet that goes here that hooks onto whatever you're going for. So here it is, nice acrylic. It's got, these right here are actually cutouts. So the water will flow through all of this right here. So whatever critter you end up putting in this, it is not going to just be stagnant water. And here is a lid, so that's awesome. So you put your critter in here, you shut the lid. So we're gonna rinse this off real quick and then set it in the display tank because we need to put a fish in here and you'll see why. Okay, here we go, rinsed off. What we're doing is setting this down right about here. And now that sits right there and we can adjust it. We could put it further up, we could put it further down, whatever we decide. As you can see, I'm pushing on it. I mean, that's not gonna go anywhere with any kind of fish trying to do anything to it because these fish are really small. And um, yeah, I'm not concerned about that. We're gonna scoot it up for now while we get the fish added to this. So what we need to do is I'm gonna hold the fish like this so it can't get out. Then we're going to open this. Fish goes in, shut it, there we go. Okay, so now that we got this in place, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down some and away from the edge, because again, we don't, that's pretty good right there, I'd say. All right, everyone, here it is in the tank, the tank lamate small with the magnet right here. And the fish we have in here is this diamond goby. Reason why these are jumpers, I lost one before, and I have a DIY lid coming that I'm gonna be setting up here. So in the meantime, this guy's just gonna chill in here for a few days, just so um, this tank is free. Now, another thing I forgot to show was this is also part of the tank lemate. It comes with this little bolt that you would just go right here and screw this on. Actually, you would screw it in this way and this would go on top. You screw it on at the top of the tank lemate. You got a mini frag rack as well. So that's really cool. There it goes. That is why we have the Diamond Gobi in a cage. Did you see what happened to it just now? It just lost it. The last item that eShop sent as part of the sponsor is their Biolux. And what it is is ultra porous ceramic biomedia. And uh, it just has a lot of benefits to it. Um, we're gonna go, let's see right here, surface area. 43,000 square feet of surface area for beneficial bacteria to grow on per four piece box. So that's a lot of area for bacteria to grow. We're gonna open it up. Got that there. We got just a little instruction sheet on it. We're gonna start off with three. We need to fill up a bucket of RODI water, rinse the media so all the fine particles come off, and then we need to let it sit for about 15 minutes to drain. So let's take a look at the product. So here it is right here. It is extremely light. I mean, very, very light. And you can see that it has a lot of area for bacteria to grow on. Lot of area. So this is the four piece box. So we got obviously our one, if I could ever get this one out, two, three, and Number four, so we got our Biolux. We're gonna rinse it off. All right, here is our bucket. I'm gonna go and just pull these off. All right, we are rinsing off the Biolux now with RODI water. Check out the water quality. You can see it is nice and cloudy. That is because of all of the dust particles and whatnot that is on the Biolux. 
We drained it. We are refilling it up with RODI water to give it one last rinse to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm just gonna go and set these in the bucket empty so that they can drain for that 15 minutes that it said in the instructions. All tilted a bit so that the water can go out. Well, everything is done. They're rinsed, they drained. Now we're gonna get them into the sump. I'm wanting to get them right over here on the other side of the skimmer because water obviously is coming down here. So there's gonna be good water flow coming down through here. So that is where we wanna put them. So here we go, number one. Just gonna kinda of sneak in here. Stick that right there. Number three is gonna go right there. There we go, that's how I'm gonna want it. Just right out in the corner. So it's not gonna disturb with how the skimmer sits. All right, so what I ended up doing was is I stick the Biolux right here in the corner. So we got the water overflows down through here. So obviously there's gonna be flow that's going through here and they're out of the way, out of the way of the skimmer and all that stuff. So those are gonna go there. Obviously we got the refugium light there and we got the tank limate right here. So what'd you guys think of the equipment from eShops? We got the tank limate up over there. We got the refugium light. We got the Biolux down there. Some super cool product. We're gonna have more surface area for beneficial bacteria. We got the refugium light down over here to grow macro algae. And we got the tank limate anytime we need to have a fish that needs to be uh, secluded from the other one. So super awesome stuff. Again, thank you eShops for sponsoring the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, comment down below, what did you guys think of the equipment? Do you use this? Have you used this? What do you guys think? Are you gonna give it a try? Throw that all down in the comments down below. And again, if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell, that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you. We got some awesome stuff coming up, guys. You're gonna definitely not wanna miss it. New fish, new product, all kinds of awesome stuff. See you soon, stay tanked.